is up my shred heads welcome back to the channel welcome to another mod mondays look two lives two days in a row let's go pretty stoked about that um who's all in here i see anaconda hugs in here what's up emilio yo ho son what's going on everybody thank you guys so much for joining and uh i think most of you guys were here yesterday and you guys remembered that we unboxed this awesome little two-person seat for the Aero Rider Grizzly from OC Cafe Racer. But uh, if you weren't here, make sure you check out that live stream from yesterday. We unboxed this. We also did a UPP battery that we're going to slap on the Super 73. And what did we also open? We also opened these tires, these Huntsman tires, which I actually got um, the size on the Grizzly wrong. They're actually the same size. The Grizzly tires are 20 by four. I said they were like 20 by four and a half and these are actually 20 by four also. So we also unboxed that. Let me not bust my biscuits in front of you guys. That only should happen on an e-bike. Um, and then what else did we open, D? Uh, some uh, like Super 73 tires, little swag box. battery, Super 73 swag box. We did a tour of the house. Oh yeah, the house tour. If you guys didn't see uh, yesterday's video, we bought a new house and we did a little, uh, what, what do you call it? MTV Cribs with Shreddy D, Shreddy and DD or Shreddy D or something. But yeah, you guys get to check out our house. So check out that video. Go back over there, check it out really quick and come back over here and hang out with us again and uh, join us in the comments. What else we got? What else we got, D? Who's oh yeah, we unboxed the Arrow Rider Grizzly seat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a first thing I said. Okay. So these are from uh, both these seats. This is actually, uh, this is a two-up seat, I guess, from OC Cafe Racer. And then he's calling this, I guess, the two-person seat. Um, I'm guessing, I guess, the person in the back gets their own little seat for their biscuits. person in the front gets a lot more for their biscuits. But um, I would think... Maybe this extended seat, this one is made more for taller people to scoot their biscuits back. Um, when I do pedaling on this bike with this seat, I, I also scoot back on it, but I'll probably end up doing the same thing on this and uh, maybe do a giveaway with, with this seat if many of you guys have Aero Rider Grizzlies yet or, or not. If not, if not, make sure you check out that link down below. Get that Grizzly. And also, again, as always, if you guys do want to support the channel, check out all those Discount links for all these e-bikes. I got accessories and what else? What, chai battery systems? Um, e-bike discount codes. I always forget one-stop board shop. I got to bring them up a little bit more often. I know we got some e-skate guys that follow us. And now uh, if Mr. E from NYC is in here, he's riding EUC. So check out onestopboardshop.com. Use code Shreddy. They can get like 5% off all your accessory orders. Uh, they got like one wheel stuff, e-skate stuff. And also, if you want like an e-skate for them, use code Shreddy PEV, get 50 bucks off of that. Oh, did you mention we get some headlight on the Aero Rider? Oh yeah, so actually people have been asking me about the, the brightness of the headlight. I ended up uh, taking off the, the grill on it and That's it's- Awesome looking grill. Yeah, I it's recommend the grill. <laughs> so much brighter. Be careful this doesn't fall off. There's like a battery right there and like if you tap it, but you're good. Um, so yeah, these this headlight's from, uh, it, Aerial Rider. It's from Wicked Thumb and you can customize like the color of the headlight if you want. I don't know if you can see back here there's like a this is the one on my, my Wicked Thumb. What, what color is this? Like a rose gold copper. Copper. Yeah, it's a copper one on there. Shav just Shav's in. He said the Shreddy Garage. Shav! I, dude, I can't wait to have you here in this house in the upstairs loft is all yours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well, we're once I took off the grill on this, it's, it's way, way, way brighter. Definitely stoked on that. I got to figure out something about the sound. It's like bouncing around in here. It's like all freaking Let's crazy. see who else is uh, in the chat. Anaconda Hugs, Emilio Selquero, Yoho Sun. What's up, everybody? Ty Sun, Chef Shanor Cross. Hey, what's going on? Arc Solid Snake Canna Grower. Yeah. <laughs> Death Rock. Death Rock, two days in a row. A lot of people in here, two days in a row. I'm so stoked. Thank you guys for joining so much. Thank you. Shof, I appreciate yeah. all you guys. Shof said, bro, I'm amped on that. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait, man. I cannot wait. I'm actually going to be taking the uh, Grizzly out tomorrow for the first ride and review. We're going to take it out to the dunes and we're going to rip around on this thing. I can't wait. I'm excited. Pull out the, um, the Sky Dio 2 and just have it like follow me through the dunes and stuff. I think that's going to be pretty freaking fun. I can't wait. 
excited Sh about that. Who else is in here? Shaw said sound panels will make a huge difference. I can help you with that. What those? Oh, sound, sound panels? panels. I definitely need that in here. We need here. lighting help, sound panels, lighting. maybe some paint help. <laughs> hey, tell me if you guys want to help me out with the lighting. This is my control. So this is, what color maybe, is this? Maybe a chairs. This is a white, I think. Oh no, that's. Oh no, that's way too bright. bright. This is like a. No, yellow. And now no. I look brown. Let's go back to the We'll original. do the white 20% or more. That's fine. You can see me good? Can you guys see me good? Or do you guys like the right one? Yeah. You want me to go a little bit brighter? Rafael Hernandez, what's up, Shreddy? What's up, Rafael? How you doing, brother? Robin Stevens, hey, Eddie, why is the new two-piece seat better? It's uh, because the second person has their own seat for their biscuits. We're going to... Uh, I don't know if Dee wants to test it out. Maybe we, uh, she, she doesn't have her face on. Maybe. She ever, she'll sit on the back and see uh, Wait, how I it can't feels. Even, I can't get up on it. Oh, yeah. She might not be able high. to get on there. I mean, we do got the tags, but it might be disaster oh, on wait, camera waiting um, to ha happen. <laughs> oh, wait. The little brown box I could step on to get up there. <laughs> that is true. Maybe. And then the, another thing I was thinking is, like, I could use this piece as, like, my own little rack. I could sit something on there. What else? What else we got? I can I can get started on this mod really quick. It's pretty humid here. We got like a lot of rain earlier and thunderstorms. It's crazy that it's like eight o'clock, but it's still like a little bit of sun out there. I'm loving that. We're gonna be riding to late. You guys ready? Shelf said I got you guys. Either way, it's content. Robin Stevens said, "Ha ha, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> Should we get started on this really quick? Cause I'm, I'm like excited to see what this looks like. Oh, did we get that, uh, that top chat thing figured out? No. So there's this like thing right here. Do, do, do. It's fine. Micro, enable flash. It's fine, I got it. Uh, yeah, I don't see any in. How about here? Top, top chat. chat, live chat, there we go. There you go. Welcome now we're doing live. live chat. Last night you guys were like, you guys got to switch to live chat, but I don't know what the reason wa was I don't know behind what the that. Is. is it like only letting some people talk and I have no other idea. people? But okay, so this, the OC Cafe Racer uh, seat is going to come with how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm only going to use seven of them because one of these down under here is really hard to get. I think it's the one on, might be this side here. So I, I usually just leave one of the front out and kind of screw the rest in. But um, it's a funny size. Normally, I think he, he provides the Allen key now. Uh, maybe he did before, but I'm not sure. It's a 964th. It's, it's, a weird, it's like the weirdest size ever. 964th. Can you see that? It's a, oh, oh. It's a crazy size, right? <laughs> that actually looked cool. It made everything all blurry behind it. Rito Garcia. What's up, Shreddy? What's up with them t-shirts and with your badass logo? Oh my god, dude. I, we, I was actually talking to Dee about it today. I was yeah, like, we gotta gonna, get those shirts yeah. out. Like, Dee we're actually gonna... has her own t-shirt uh, company right now <laughs> on Etsy you guys should check out. I forget the name of it. But, but that is not your logo. It's not my logo. We're gonna have a meeting with his uh, designer who did his logo this week and then hopefully get you guys the shirts out at, like this week, next week, soon. We got like many different colors coming out. Check out this thing. This is like a DeWalt drill, but like you hold this button and you turn. It's like gyroscopic. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I get excited about the dumbest things, nerds. Um, so let's get started on taking this thing off. So Dave, do you want to get closer? Can we get closer? Yeah, if you like lower this, I, you need to lower me. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm not technologically savvy. Hold that. Lower the camera. Matt the mechanic, bro. Matt. Matt, there get over here. Be careful you don't hit the <laughs> off button. So we're going to get under here. I'm holding way too much. And I'm going to remove, like I said, it was the one on this side that I had in the front. Normally we have two. Maybe we can get under here. Maybe, maybe. Get under here. See, right here. Can you guys see that? Can they see it? Can you see it? It's a little dark. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, there's one there, and that's that one. 
There's going to be another one, uh, four back here. Oops, wrong way. Moni Johnson, still no drinks? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got some water. <laughs> Did you give us money for drinks, Moni, yesterday? <laughs> she said, oh. oh, they said joke, I don't drink. I got, I got some Malta we Goya. Drink, we don't drink either. I'm going to come around this side, so you can stay there. You're good there. I hope you guys can hear us on the mics. I have to like reset, restart my phone every so often. If not, the mics that I'm using like don't work. It's kind of weird. Hi, Sansa. Can I buy that seat you're taking off? Uh, may, yeah. Throw me an offer, bro. Matt, the mechanic. Eddie, you up for some well, sending I, to the moon? You mean shredding to the moon? I, I just lost a bolt, so you might be one bolt short if you end up buying that from me. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you it just went, what the? Is there a full moon ride tonight? I don't think there's any full moon going on. Oh, Is Moni there? said I asked about drinks and yesterday's live. I suck as a comedian. <laughs> and then last one over here. Shover Films audio sounds great. Yeah, thank you, Shove. Where'd that go? Moni, come ride, come do a group ride with them and you can grab a drink on, stop at one of the breweries and grab a drink. Oh, hell yeah. If you drink. I like, um, I like frat bays, I like smooth days. I like uh, mocktails too. They, some people make like really, or some places, not all places. Right now I'm just taking all the screws out of the, ch the chair, the seat. Oh, down there. Yeah. I'm filming the wrong way. It's okay. They have Rob, little lock washers on there too, but. Rob F, hi from SoCal, always at it. Our neighbors, uh, we got the garage door partially open, so our neighbors are like probably freaking out. Like what the hell are they doing in there? <laughs> What did Rob say? I'm sorry, I, I totally skipped that on that. Hi from SoCal, always at it, Rob F. Hell yeah, what's up Rob? Thanks for joining, all the way from uh, coast to coast. We're all hanging out. Matt, the washer's still here. You need to uh, come come help Eddie get it out of the yeah, house. Yeah, we got a washer-dryer combo we need to get out. We, <laughs> we don't want to spill anything. <laughs> Shower Films. Rob, I'm in SoCal too. We should shred some time. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we should all get together, man. I need to get there. I need to get back to Cali sooner. But I think, hold on, is it Shaw's turn to come back? No, it's my turn to go to Cali. Shaw, but you, Shaw you only come stayed. here after Hawaii, then Eddie goes back yeah. with you. He only stayed, like, for sh not even long enough, though. Like, I stayed for, like, almost three weeks, right? No, you were there two weeks. Shaw was here two weeks. I no, think. he was here for a week. Oh. Yeah, this time. Last time, two weeks. No, next time you're staying for a month. Yeah, you're <laughs> just going to like live here. <laughs> you're not allowed to go back. Sorry about it to the family. <laughs> he's, my, he's my dad. He needs to be half here, <laughs> half back. Shalv is my daddy. <laughs> Rob F., let's do it. Math mechanic, when is the block party? <laughs> Looks like they're having one outside Yo, now. Our, our neighbors have block parties like... I think like two blocks up that way. They're always having people over. It's awesome. Did I take all the, oh yeah, look at me. So there's a, this is like the bigger cutout, like same thing as this for the controllers you can see. Up here, check out the bigger controllers. This is, for the people that don't know, this is a V2 Aerial Rider Grizzly. So this is the second version of this bicycle. Um, this is actually even cleaner looking up here, like the wires and everything. But uh, we moved from a 22 amp controllers, two of them, to a 230 amp controller, so we're getting more efficiency out of these controllers. And also, from the 750 watt motors, they got dual 1000 watt motors, was also another upgrade on here, which are the, my two biggest top upgrades on this bike. Um, so, I'm guessing I start with the hard one first. Uh, we'll do the front one first. So, which side did I have it on? This side over here, I'm gonna pop back over here. Get that screw started. Shalver Film said, I need your help on my secret project. Oh yeah, maybe Marv is, uh, is your guy. He, he, said I'm down, he said I'm down to move in with you guys. <laughs> Let's do it, dude. That would be sick. Rito Garcia, I need to move to Cali, bro. You can shred here every day. I know. We just bought a house. So. I know. And like, it was so nice.
nice here in Delaware, like the past two years, like mild winters and like, it's been freezing and still freezing and dark and raining. It's like I know, never it's been May. like this. What the We're hell? Like, we should have we should have moved somewhere warmer. Ty San, uh -oh. consider seats sold. I'll DM you an IG. All right. Somebody's smoking them at that. Oh my god! What is going on? He was smoking his Somebody tires at the light. Out. That's hilarious. So. I always remember getting this first one in is always the hardest. The first one is the hardest. I know it's not the right lyrics, but that's how I do it. All right. So what you want to do is not screwing in like too, too deeply. <laughs> like I just did. Matt said that's what she said. Yeah. I was just say that. He probably is typing that right now. The one BMX. Sorry I'm late, Shreddy. was literally just riding. Andy. There he is, dude. I'm sorry. I thought you were third. I said you were 13 last night, man. 16, 16. He was out there shredding. I was out, out there uh, practicing my, my one ups. Coming back around on this side. Remember, I only put the one screw on the front because, you know, Shreddy lazy sometimes. And then. And then, no more then. Okay. I'm going to start these ones by hand since it's easier to get to. Make sure you lift it. Find your hole. Enter and turn gently. Can you see my fingers? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Actually, I could kind of tighten those down already. Can you guys remind me I didn't tighten up the one in the front and then tighten it up? Ty San said, maybe finger tight it first to avoid cross-threading. Got it. You got it. That first one was just hard to get. I couldn't finger tighten it. It's such a tight, tight fit. Did Matt say that's what she said again? <laughs> He said, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Losing pieces over here. Ah, let me get up under here. There we go. Got that one. I wonder if I can hit this one from this angle. Nope. <laughs> I got to come around. Oh, you know what's cool? Check this out, guys. If I did want to do just a rack, like somebody sent me a rack yesterday. Who said it to me? Okay. I, f I forget your name. You might be hanging out right now, but he had the super 73 rack on the back. I could actually do that. That's actually, there you go. That's, that's a plus about this. So if you have a rack, um, you can always take off the second seat, add the rack, or if you want to get rid of the rack and have a passenger, you can add that. So boom, there's your plus on that. I'm glad you brought that up at the beginning of the stream. So. Um, Andy said the seat is looking so awesome. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually seriously digging it just like the one piece. So maybe I'll get a rack, get that super 73 Math mechanic, rack. no more room for bitches. No more. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm over here. I'm trying to tighten this. Got that tightened down. And remember, you guys reminded me to tighten this one down. You guys reminded me. Thank you. Thank you for... Man, this is like the hardest one to get to. Oh no. There it is. Thank you. It's in there. We're good. Let me sit on just like that piece. That's pretty cool. It's like the like a beautiful version of the OG seat. Oh yeah. How come I feel like a little bit higher? I don't know. <laughs> I feel a little bit higher. Let me look at something. Let me look at something here. <laughs> Do you guys like it with just one seat? <laughs> Do you guys think it's a little bit higher? Yeah, it is because it's like flatter here and it goes a little bit, a little bit higher. So yeah, this might be even better for taller people. Can you guys see that? Does that look a little bit thicker? Yeah. This one? In person it does. Do we have a... You can't really tell. Oh, uh, we don't have a tape measure. 
What's cool? I actually, damn, I like it as a one piece, man. So now we got four to screw in there, and that's what it's gonna look like. Dude, that's sick. You know it'd be cool if they had like um, some kind of quick releases for this or something. You could just click, clip it in, boom, kick it out. If, if anybody can think of a quick release system for, for a seat like this, that'd be freaking awesome for your rack and a second passenger. Damn, I'm giving away ideas. If you guys make a million bucks on that, send half of that to Shreddy. <laughs> I get 50%. Mwahaha. No, I'm just kidding. All right, one, two, three, four. That's not a bad idea, right, Dave? Come on. Tell Andy me. said, I truly like the one-seater, different from the second seat, but the rack option is a huge plus. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what... I'm guessing that's the back because there's no seam in there. Yeah. Right? Yep. Boom. That's going to look tight. All right. Like Ty said, I'm going to finger tighten all of them. Just give it a good little fingering. Death Rock Magnet, much better. I don't know if I, I didn't start a thread yet. There we go. I think. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Two. So that's why you don't tighten them up all the way because you got to be able to lift the seat and look for the hole. Matt said group ride tomorrow at one. Possibly. I got to I gotta do the first ride in review for these guys. Everybody's been hassling me like, yo, where's that first ride in review on that Aero Rider? I want to go to the farmer's market in the morning, Matt. Oh. So there, <laughs> there goes some of my time, Matt. So there goes a little bit late. Whoa. There's screws grating. I might only put two in the back. We'll see. Rob F, hinge in the back to flip it and add a basket would be perfect and easy to do. Yeah. You can make, you can make this shreddy. There we go. All right. That one's in. What, 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 what right, the, right there. Yeah, you guys are going to see me sweating because it is hot. It is hot. And I don't think Dee's going to show her face. Because her hair is a little... Uh... Frizzy from the humidity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you guys like have humidity on the West Coast. It would be so nice. Good hair day. Yo, I don't, I don't think I ever felt humidity out there. Like Las Vegas, Maybe like California. a little bit there in Dana Point. Or where? No, San Clemente. <laughs> I don't live in Dan. Oh no, um, Sean don't live in Dana Point. Rito Garcia. No, he lives in Dana Point, not San Clemente. Oh, oops. I guess you live in both. <laughs> all you need. Rito Garcia said, "All you need is the if can can read this. My girl fell off T-shirt. Oh, if you can read this, my girl <laughs> yeah. fell off. If you can read it, my girl. That's so funny. Oh yeah, there you go. Do you make a, make that a shirt on your <laughs> on your website? What's what's the name of your store, Dee? Let's let's throw a little plug in there for for you. Mod and Co. Collective on Etsy. If you guys like the Johnny Depp trial, <laughs> there's a lot of mega pint F Amber Heard Justice <laughs> for Johnny Depp shirts on there. Justice for Johnny. <laughs> That's so funny. I tighten them all down like I said I shouldn't. And then, hey, I'll still able to get this one in. Let's go. I don't even think I need this screw in. There's a few electric bike shirts, but we're working on making better ones. Like <laughs> Shawver Films, haha, I live in both. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. I came to that conclusion. I live in, I live in Delaware, Dana Point. <laughs> I live in Lewis, Dana Point, and San Clemente. <laughs> Emilio Salquero. How are you doing, Shreddy? Love the bikes. I'm doing good, except for this screw's <laughs> not going in. <laughs> He's trying to focus. <laughs> All right, so that's a. This might be a lost cause. I might, I might give up on this one. You need a flashlight. Well, what I have to do is loosen every other one, and then retighten them down because I'm the dummy that said. 
hey guys, make sure you don't tighten them all down before you get, you know what I mean, before you get them all in. And I tightened them all down before I got them all in. I just did this because I want to hang out more, a little longer on my Mondays. There you go. The one BMX, oh yeah, Shreddy, it's beautiful, beautiful today in Cali. Highest 79 where I am, and 73 right now. Lucky. Nice. We did, we got, it was nice today, but we got the rain, but. storms, humidity. <laughs> the humidity is what really crushes the soul here. And, we just had a nor'easter for a week, our beaches are hurting. Yeah, like it our. It rained every day, it was freezing, it's crazy. Our beaches are totally like gone. They're, they're usually like the longest beaches ever. But that storm freaking tore. Tore it up. Tore it up. Amelia Saquaro said, that sucks. Jack Flynn, hey. Jack Flynn. Math Mechanic, Eddie, you got that air purifier going in the garage. Ha ha. Yeah. I know really. Because I have uh, allergies and I feel like that would help with like the pollen. Yeah, probably I don't know. help inside, right, Matt? I don't know. Maybe it's sucking the pollen into the garage. Who knows? Organized chaos. Freddie, where's your peeping. tools? Oh, uh, I got... <laughs> finally has like one tool, but he's not really using it. Dude, that's the other thing I got to figure out, like the tool situation in the garage. But like I said, like I don't want any, like a toolbox. I don't want anything on this floor besides e-bikes. So I got to well, figure out some kind of shelving yeah. system for tools, I guess. Uh, somebody sent me like a cool little thing that's like um, a shelving system that's like a, like a mini shed type deal. I don't know like how to explain it, but... That was a pretty cool idea for like the basement or something. Yeah, Organized Chaos said rain was crazy, right? Andre Perry, what's up, Shreddy? What's up, Andre? Show for films. You got to strap that purifier to the bike, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll remove that and strap it on the back as a rack. Let me put all these screws together. Let me see how many <laughs> screws I got on this seat for whoever buys it. One, two, three, four, five. Six screws you get out of, I think, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Too short, bro, too short. If I could find the other one that fell, we might have one, one extra. All right, so let's, let's check out this seat. Let's sit on it, let's sit back, let's see if we can slide around on it. Organized chaos, and it totally skipped spring, went from winter straight to winter, exactly. Yeah, it was crazy. So here's that seat. Mm. Matt said maybe a funny video. That's cool. Wait, let me back up and see this so they can see it. So this is me sitting on the passenger seat. <laughs> I was wondering what you were yeah, doing. I feel like my, my biscuits fit on there, a little, little bit hanging off on the back, but I don't have the smallest of biscuits. And we scoot forward. Oh yeah, that's comfy. It feels like there's like a little pocket. Oh yeah, like pops. I didn't even notice that before, yeah. So it goes up a little bit right there. So it kind of feels like it like cups your butt. It's just like, just. Holding your biscuits, <laughs> gently caressing them <laughs> when you're riding. That's awesome. I dig it. I dig it. So what do you guys think? Let me know if you guys like that in the uh, comments. I'm definitely digging the fact that I can take that off and add a rack on there. That's badass. I like that a lot. With uh, the other seat, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have an option like that because you're stuck with the whole thing. So. Definitely, definitely a cool seat. Check out uh, OCCafeRacer.com. What's his name on Instagram? TRN underscore 714? I think so. Yeah, TRN underscore something. 714. Yeah, check him out on uh, Instagram Eddie, also. Yeah, Eddie tagged him in his Instagram post. Um, let's see. Jack Flynn, do you have an Onyx? No, I don't, but that's definitely a bike I would like to add to this whole collection of e-bikes. I'm going to kind of scoot this out of the way now that... <clears throat> we're done with the mod Monday and if we have like any if you guys see like any other bikes behind me you guys want to see <coughs> I'll do my best to get it out but it's it's pretty tight right now um let's get the Jack are you looking for a fast bike or what did he say we'll see we're um, looking at Eddie, the Suron yeah Eddie has some other fast bikes if you want a fast bike we uh, the bike. one BMX, such a sick bike, Shreddy. The Zoos is another one. Dude, uh, the one BMX, the Zoos is a bike I, I could see you on too, man. Loon said Busting wheelies on it. Actually, I could see you on this one too. Maybe in, a, in a two years. <laughs> 
Your, your dad's probably going to hate me for saying that. No, he's not getting a Suron. So this is, this is one of my favorite bikes that I purchased. Of course, for all you people that are new to the channel, this is not a stock Suron. I bought it stock from Luna Cycles. Um, and then I ended up getting the BAC 4000 controller uh, from Greenline Engineering. Uh, and if you guys are interested in the BAC 4000 from GreenlineEngineering.com, use code SHREDDY. I think you get like free shipping or like 10 bucks off or something. And also this heat sink. Can you show the heat sink? This little black heat sink on the front. Sideways. Can I cook it? So that also came from Greenline Engineering. Helps with cooling the controller and supposedly this little, I don't even know what to call it, fin that aims the air down there. Helps to cool the, the motor also. And uh, also got the upgraded battery, the Gladiator battery, 60 amp hour battery from Chai Battery Systems. This thing, you could push a lot of power through this thing. Um, I don't even know how fa fast Marv went on, on his. He hit around, I want to I wanna say close to 70 on his. Jack Flynn said he already has an Onyx. Just wondering if we can get a quick tour of your fleet of bikes. Okay. All right. So this is, of course, the Suron. Let me get, let me kind of like move some stuff around so I could... He's going to be holding the camera, so if it's like a little shaky, yell at her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, the Suron, what's the next bike you want me to bring out? Because I have the Super 73 RX. The Huck goes 60 we can, miles We can bring the Huck out next. So, let me... I got my own garage, but still not enough room for my heat bikes. <laughs> All right, so neighbors here yet now. Go right there. What's up, Huck? Actually, recently just got a 50 amp hour battery from Huck Cycles. I don't know if you guys are, are new to the channel or haven't seen any of the Huck, Hucking Huck content. Uh, make sure you guys check out some of my Huck videos. I, I've done a lot of fun rides, range tests and everything, but uh, this bike originally came with a 30 amp uh, 72 volt, 30 amp hour or 32 amp hour battery. But the BMS was, was set to cut off at like 45 degrees. So people in the Northeast and just colder regions, we're, we, were just, we weren't able to, to ride this thing. It was literally a, a paperweight in 45 degrees and b below or whatever. So recently I just got a 50 amp hour battery that doesn't cut off in 45 degrees. I'm, I, I don't know what temperature it's going to cut off at yet, but I've definitely had it out in colder than 45 and it was fine. And um, uh, the reason why I'm stoked about having the 50 amp hour battery also is the fact that I'm going to be able to hang with the scooters, get good range on it and everything. So this is the Huck. It used to be called the Stinger 3000, the 3000 watt motor. Uh, I think I want to say 150 amp Saviton sine wave controller. We can show it underneath here if you guys want to check it out. I went there for my, what, 40th birthday and went there and got the new sine wave controller installed. I forget the old controller they used before, but it was kind of trash compared to this. This thing is so, so smooth and the way it sounds is so cool. And um, then I, I installed that XT150. Uh, I don't know if, did I do a video on that? I installed the XC150 on there myself, which, which was pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the Huck. And now it's called the Rebel. And they are not being made with pedals. They're, made, they're being made now with pegs. You may be able to special request You, you probably pedals. can get pedals, but the reason why they're making them with pegs is because of the crackdown on e-bikes or, e or electric motorcycles is what I want to call this for sure. Um, and Eddie has a discount link and code cool. for yep. this bike, as well as all these bikes in his description, his YouTube description. Yep, use code Shreddy Mixgate for uh, it's like 3% off Huck Cycles. Which turns out to be a lot. <laughs> it's like over 300 off. So yeah, they're, they're making them with just pegs because they, they, they're now pushing you to get these things registered as motorcycles or mopeds. So. They're going to give you a title. Um, it's going to say either a 50 CC or a 90 CC, depending on how you want to get it registered. I got them to send me the 50 CC one because uh, a lot of the scooter, like gas scooter guys around here are, are 
riding 90 cc and probably up and ripping around town and I never see him get messed with. So this is a scooter that goes 25. Like in, in Delaware, the law is scooters can't go no faster than 25 miles an hour, which is freaking crazy that I don't know even if a class three bike is allowed to go 28 here. We might be only legally on e-bike allowed to go 25 in Delaware. I got, I got to check that out again. But love the Huck, man. Love, love riding this thing. I know I haven't been on it in a hot minute, but once I get it registered, I'll do a video on getting this e-bike registered. And then um, we'll just go in a row, make it easier to kind of get the bikes out. Um, I, I got the batteries off because it's in the garage. I don't know how hot it's going to get in, in this house yet. So let me move this back a little bit to get more room. I do want to paint the walls in here too to make it look a little more like, I don't know, professional. <laughs> so this is, yeah, the Spark Cycle Works Bandit. I ended up adding that, uh, if you guys were in a stream, I'll probably explain this. I had the, the 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery as my third battery. So I got battery on top and bottom. Like I said, I, I try to take the batteries out and inside because of the temperature, but I need to figure out what to do with the Suron. That thing sucks to take in and out, but the Bandit, a lot of fun. Um, I kind of like calling this kind of like my cargo bike because of this thing. Bing! I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's my little uh, cargo rack. little rack. You can put them on both sides, which is really cool, but check it out. Let's close it up. Fold, fold, fold. Boom. Pop this little clip out here. And boom. And that's it. So that's the, the Bandit. I think we're going to be installing on a Mod Mondays. We're going to be putting the treaded tires on here and the chain tensioner. Um, but to do that, I gotta flip this thing upside down, take these mirrors off, and that's gonna be fun. <laughs> we'll, we'll have fun. Some, some Mod Mondays are gonna be crazy. Maybe I'll wait up. Oh. They got new kickstands that go on the pegs now, so I don't think they're gonna lock up like, like that with the pedal. Let me read a few more while you're getting out other bikes. All right, let's yeah, see. read, let's read. Let's read some comments, guys. This one locks up too. Loon said, Shreddy, did you guys get a new home? Yes, we did. And if you, if you want to catch that, that video, uh, that live last night, we actually did a little walk through MTV Cribs with Shreddy D. <laughs> On the live YouTube he did last night. You can check that out. And hold on. Who was asking about the bikes? I'm bringing them out. They're not, they're not saying anything, are they? Um, oh, let me see. This is the wicked thumb. No, everyone's really talking. cool bike. How many people we got in here? 36. 36. Thank you guys for joining. I hope we got 36 likes on there, guys. I'll sing La Bamba for 100 likes. <laughs> yeah, Jack Flynn said, I'm just here watching. He's the one that asked you to All right, the thank out. you. Dude, this thing is so freaking long. Wicked thumb. This is the wicked thumb. I don't know if I could fit it. <laughs> so yeah, this is a 750 watt, 48 volt. Um, I want to say it's 17 and a half amp hour battery in here. And uh, the headlight, let's turn it back frontwards. This you want freaking, to see the headlight. This headlight there is just so sick. This is my favorite headlight out of all of them. If I can get this headlight on all my e-bikes, I would totally do that. It's it came so with cool a black one with a grill that was really cool too. I uh, used to have it. Mm, might be downstairs in the basement, but yeah, this thing's fun. I, I actually like, this is my one bike that I will take out and pedal. Like this is my workout bike, but cruising, chilling workout bike. I want to get a different seat though. You like that seat, it's comfy. Maybe a brown seat to match this. <laughs> I'm gonna fill. All right, what else we got? Oh man, the, the, my Ray Volts that I still have to do videos on, but, but Bomber Marv is gonna be repairing, actually, he's probably gonna be repairing both of them. Sean was talking about your um, two-seater on the Grizzly. He said, now we can fit on the Grizzly together, Shreddy. Yes, hell yeah. We could take it out in the dunes. Freaking bro rod. Dark man said, let's see it with two people. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, you want to sit? Matt sit. said, gee, make sure you hold Eddie's biscuits. <laughs> Organized chaos, nice. Anaconda, show us Shreddy and D on the seat. Inja rides his grizzly and D-class with his wife on the back. This is the Torino. He's not listening. <laughs> this is the Ray oh, we'll, Torino. We'll, we'll throw you on the back if you're down to uh, get halfway on camera or fully on camera. So this is, yeah, the Ray Volt uh, Torino. Fully, I don't know the, f the full specs on this. I'm pretty sure it's a 48 volt bike. Um, He's gonna do a review yeah, on it don't, Yeah, I don't know about the motor, but right now I'm just having uh, problems with the brakes. The brakes need to be totally bled and just like redone. And also the back rotor got bent in transportation. So I need to do, um, get a new rotor slapped on there. And also we might actually have to re-lace the rear hub which I have two different rims behind, sitting behind you right now. And um, this long thing, I'm probably gonna only be able to pull it like straight because it's so freaking long. Did Matt say that's what she said yet? No. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is the cruiser. This thing is crazy. Um, we we're actually going to do a video on it when Shav was down here and it ended up the, the controller went on it. Um, so we're waiting for a new controller to get sent out and hopefully I can get a video done on it pretty soon. Um, but this is uh, on for sale from One Stop Board Shop. So they ended up bringing it to me to do, well. do some videos. And I also have the Ray Volt Ring, Ringo. No, what's it called now? Ringo now, not the Django that I still have to unbox from this company. But um, they're an Italian-based company. And I want to say this has a 1,000-watt um, motor. I don't know if I can get it there. Ooh. There you go. Direct if drive. If you're interested in that bike, you can just direct message Eddie because he's selling it for them. Well, once we fix it, yeah. <laughs> once, once, once we get it once fixed. It's fixed. What, what else we got? Oh, we got the Zoos, the Super. So many bikes, guys. So, so many bikes. Sorry, D. She's going to kill me for hitting the walls. And then the Zoo's Urban Ultra Light 1100. This is one of my favorite bikes to ride around just because it's so light and like nimble. Like, it's crazy. The heaviest part, of course, is the motor. Uh, 1,000 watt motor on here, 19. 0.2 amp hour battery. This one's a 52 volt bike. Um, but thinking Marv and I are gonna put a 45 amp controller in here and maybe get this to go around 40-ish miles an hour, he said last night. Uh, right now we can hit 32 to 33-ish on this bike, which is so fast for, for a BMX bike. This, this thing's a lot of fun to ride. Uh, nimble, fun to carve. Definitely one of my favorites for show, for show. And you're, of course, you guys already saw the, uh, the Grizzly, so we're not going to pull that out. Unless you want me to <laughs> pull it out again. <laughs> Back here, and then, of course, my, my Super 73 RX. Like, this is the first bike that got me into being an e-bike influencer. I bought the first, my first bike was this, after riding a uh, Super 73 S2 or S1 in white. Bought this thing and fell in love. Of course, I had my ups and downs with them, uh, but still having a great time on this bike, riding it every day, uh, learning wheelies, and I'll be probably putting that in the videos here soon. I'm not, I'm not announcing it much just on the lives because my lives don't get like a million zillion views. But that bike has a wicked thumb headlight on it also. Oh yeah, we do. That's right. Here, here it is with the grill on it. So that's it with the grill. Very cool. You can you can customize your own color and everything. And there's discount links for all these bikes in the YouTube description. Oh yeah, I think you use code Shreddy for five percent off the Wicked Thumb headlight if you're interested in that. And the bikes all have codes, discount links. I'm gonna forget how all these bikes go, but I'm gonna try to get them out of the way. Just so I can uh, sit in front of you guys. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Yes. All right. Lots of questions. Lots of questions. A 
Read them out. Read them out. I can answer. Andre Perry, are you going to test ride a Delfast 3.0? Man, you know how bad I want to try one of those bikes? Very soon. Very soon. Jack Flynn, I already have an Onyx. Just wondering, can we get a quick complete tour of your bikes? Okay, we did that. Sorry, I'm behind. Sober Films, I'm going to build a 72 volt Bandit after I finish my current project. That's what I. That's and yeah, that's what I said last night. Like I want to do a set like a faster Bandit before I get it registered. Uh, I'm not registering it until it's fast. Dur, Jeff, faster. <laughs> Jeff said, "What kind of seat is that?" That seat was. OCCafeRacer.com. OCCafeRacer.com for the Arrow Rider Grizzly two person seat. Loon said, Shreddy and D, I miss you guys. Miss you too. Come for our first ride. I think, let's, let's, um, okay, let's say now. Let's say live. Let's say, how many people are in here? 44. So in two weeks, two weeks from now, um, let's, tr let's set up a ride on a Saturday. If everybody is down. Is that Memorial Day weekend? Oh, no, yeah. When is Mo... Let's... The ride probably has to be Sunday because of the traffic. Okay, the weekend after Memorial Day weekend? Damn, I would like to do it before Memorial Day weekend, before the traffic gets crazy this to bring weekend. people here. Yeah, this weekend is too short notice. It's Monday. What do you guys think? Get, give me a one in the chat if we should do one this weekend. If not, give me a two in the chat if we should do it after Memorial Day weekend. Or three, if Memorial Day weekend. Or three, but more. I don't think Memorial Day weekend's gonna work at the beach. Like the traffic here gets on crazy. On a Sunday, it would be fine. I think the Friday and Saturday, are the traffic days. The trap, yeah, the traffic would be crazy. Let's the set let's set up a group ride for the weekend after Memorial Day. Let's do it on a Saturday. We'll probably start it from the church, or um, if it's easier to start for everybody at um, Lewis Cycle Sports, we could do that. But if you guys want to join that ride, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. I'll add you to the, uh, the group chat for that ride. Do I have a drink? Did you start a group chat yet? I do have a group chat already, so I'll just keep adding people to the group chat. Okay. For that ride. And um, I, I, soon also, I want to plan uh, for all you people that have like big battery, um, big, big batteries or two, three batteries on your bike. I want to plan a 60 plus mile group ride, but you must have dual plus batteries in your charger. But we'll, we'll set that up after this Memorial Day, after Memorial Day weekend ride. <laughs> Nikki Sayer, evening dudes. Have you ever seen a Grizzly painted? Love the bikes, but Not they yet. would look better in a solid color. Did you I agree. see the Lunar Eclipse? No, no we didn't see night? it. We didn't see it. We, uh, we saw the, the moon yesterday Pink, though, right? Like blood moon. The blood moon must have looked really cool. This bike is so light without the batteries. I, I, I never mentioned that I, you got to take the batteries out to, um, to get to the screws, which you notice there's no battery in the back. Well, not the battery, it's just the back one. But I'll just bring that up so you guys can see it behind me in case you have any questions. Dark about Man the said, whoa, 72 volt bandage show. I'd love to see that. Yeah, y'all, Bomber Marv built two so far or three? I'm not sure. But he, uh, he has one that hit. 60? Or what did he say last night in the chat? I think he said 60. Where's Bomber Marv? Get back in the <laughs> chat, Bomber Marv. Or come here. Shaw said, I've been talking with Matt from Spark and it should be in the works soon. Hell yeah. Matt the mechanic. So, Eddie, how was golfing that one day? What about the law again? What law? <laughs> Eddie oh, has to buy my law. Guys, oh yeah, yeah. That, that video, we hit a million views on a video. Like, can you, can you believe that? Today we hit one million views on a video, but it was on TikTok. Come on guys, <laughs> let's get a million views on a YouTube video. Not TikTok, but it, it's pretty cool that. What video is that on YouTube so they can watch it? It was the, um, what, what I call it? E I think Karen the title, golfer tries to grab. Well, that was a short, but the title of the actual video was like a Zeus range test that you just did like a few weeks ago. Yeah, but then I made it a TikTok video and then just wrote Karen on there and million views today, we hit a million. <laughs> I don't see any money from that though, right? <laughs> Rob F, after all these bikes, which is your least favorite? My least favorite? Oh man, let me turn around. Is that Kugo Karen G3? <laughs> E-scooter. Yeah, the scoot get the scooter out of here. That thing. Hey, where's your fast E-scooter? Damn, my least oh, favorite? Yeah, the Kugo Karen. I don't know. 
Wait, let me go back Which up. Which one do I not ride much? I can't talk about the, the, uh, the Ray Volts yet because I haven't even really like ridden them, or tested them out like hardcore. Um, Shaver said golf cart rides are the hmm. shit. Golf course rides. <laughs> I said golf cart. <laughs> We're going to have to go from like, yeah, my, my most favorite e-bike. Well, everybody knows I love riding my Suron. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's like a dirt bike. Though. I know. That's what I've always wanted my whole entire life, and I got it. Um, Shower Films, you got to get someone to come in and throw up some tags on the walls. Yes, I, I want to paint the walls, but I have to, um, what do you call it? Not caulk. Plaster? <laughs> what do you call it? Even, I have to even these, like, lines out because they're, like, uneven. Nikki then, Sayer, Bandit is cool. The new Wrangler. Hey, wow, nice collection. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. All right, Andre right Perry, nice e-bike, Shreddy. Thank you, Andre, appreciate it. Is there another e-bike that you guys want to see? The one we max totally forgot to like, just liked. Thank you. How many likes do we got here, and how many people do we got? 46 people, 34 likes. Awesome. Here, I'll put it in Andre there Perry, I just got the Delfast 3.0. No way. That's How are you liking awesome. it? Send Eddie a picture. Let's see. Oops, I just lost that. That okay. might pop out. <laughs> Matt the mechanic. Matt the mechanic. When are you going to remove the pedals on the Suron? Never. <laughs> I get down. I get down. Oh, <laughs> somebody asked about my tools earlier. Let's let's show you my tools. Y'all ready for this? Oh, I got uh, these gloves for my for my Suron. I don't know if you guys saw this. I don't know if you guys saw them. Those are cool. Mm -mm -mm. I'm grabbing tools. That's all I'm doing. This is, this is, these are my tools. <laughs> like everything I own, all my tools are here. I'm actually missing a, a wrench that's downstairs. But yeah, all my tools. I got this for, uh, for my birthday or Christmas or something. M must have been Christmas. A lot of people are telling me that I needed to get one of these, and now I got it. But if you guys have any suggestions of any tools that, that I should get or I need, comment them down below. Let me know right now because I need, I need like electrical stuff. I did, I don't know if Shaver's still in here, but he gave me his little snippy snippies for, um, for cutting zip ties. That's pretty cool. That's my newest tool in the collection. <laughs> I appreciate having that. That's, a, that's a, actually a, a pretty needed tool for e-bikers because we do cut a lot of zip ties. Maybe I'll find an Amazon link for that and throw it in there. Jack right. Flynn, what do you think about the cake bikes? I love the cake bikes. They look so cool. The one that I like is the one, I guess they, it's, they're only made in Africa for like the uh, people that hunt elephants, the really? poachers, the people that, um, wow. that hunt the poachers or whatever. The green and brown one. That one is so cool looking. I like that you a lot. You mean like army? <laughs> There's Crash <laughs> Knievel in like... Florida. Um, he's actually been inviting me down there to stay with him. He actually has a cake cock and he said he would let me ride it. So I need to take him up on that offer, roll down there and uh, do some videos on that bike. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Life Coach Alley, I'm trying to bring my Grizzly with me to Southeast Asia to dominate the street. That'd be awesome. Are you going to ship it out there on a boat? Darkman 2G. Laugh out loud. Wow, how can you turn on that thing? Oh, the long one, the Ray Volt? Yeah. Oh, the long one. It's got like a little key on the side where like the battery is. Yeah, the Ray Volts are from Spain, which is why they look... And it, it's really cool because it has like regen um, on the back pedal. So when you back pedal, it slows the bike down and it gives you a little bit of regen. Uh, Edmund Kim, maybe some Velcro? Matt the mechanic, I'm still trying to wheelie that. Nikki Sayer, are you and Dee gonna do a vid of your first Zeus cruise together? Yeah, so the, uh, Dee doesn't know how to ride e-bikes, so the first video of her riding an e-bike is, is gonna be me teaching her, her learning how to uh, control the throttle, how to use pedal assist and everything, giving her um, you know, all this safety tips, <laughs> I guess. War, gotta love the Zeus. It's a beautiful bike. Where is it behind me? It is a beautiful bike. One BM Andy, how much did you spend on that BMX bike looking one? The Zeus one? 
How much does that cost? Those are about $2,800. And what's your code save them? Code SHREDDY100 will save you 100 bucks. And they also have, so that's the 1100 and then he's also going to unbox the 750, 750, which is a smaller, lighter version. Uh, so that the 1100 have, has a direct drive hub, so it, it actually doesn't have as much torque as the geared hub on the 750. If, if you're going to be doing wheelies, I think you're going to have more fun on the 750 compared to the 1100 because the way the throttle works on the 1100, it kind of ramps up like slowly. Compared to the 750, it kind of gives you a little more control over it. Are they both the same price? Like uh, the 750 is a little bit cheaper. I want to say 2600 If you guys, if somebody wants to check the website and let me know. And also, if, if anybody is watching the whole thing, can you like um, comment and timestamp where we started to do this and where we ended it, the install? I want to see if people love me enough. Death Rock, what color you put in your wall? I don't know. Should we do like a all white wall or, or what? Or should I do like a, like Shaw, if he has his little backdrop things you can pull down and they're all different colors and then you can push them back up or whatever. We could either do that or should I get like a Shreddy McSkate flag on the back with my logo? We need some What do you guys think? We need low VOC paint. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need a lot of tips on, on getting this garage like a little more professional looking and cooler, more chill. Yeah. Harold Buchanan, how about a QS205 motor on the Wicked Thumb? Oh my God, that'd be crazy. There's definitely some, some news coming from Wicked Thumb soon. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys very soon. We'll have some Wicked Wednesdays Let's, pretty soon. We'll, we'll start doing those again. A7XI, most easy. We want to hear your most brutal, brutal low scream. Oh, <laughs> just check out his music. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you want, if you check out his music on like iTunes, self checkout, Black Skies is the album. I'll do some good screams. He does some screams in was there. Is that a good one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, check out like my intro song. Like fast forward it to the end, and then you'll hear me screaming. Almost like uh, I want to say kind of like Randy Blythe from Lamb of God. <laughs> Wait, what's the song called? It was like based on um, Game of Thrones. Okay, everyone's saying one for this weekend coming up. Okay. This weekend? <laughs> Philly in the building. OC Cafe Racer is where my seat came from for my X class. Nice, nice. How you liking it? How you liking it? Make sure you guys tell OC Cafe Racer that Shreddy sent you if you get a seat. Yeah, definitely. Him. Now I got to go out and take some pictures. For, so you'll see this exact bike on his website soon with this seat. <laughs> Loon, Shreddy, my birthday is the 28th. What? Happy super early birthday, dude. Loon, are you going to come down for the ride? Are you going to come down Gemini. for the ride? You got to come down for the ride, dude. My birthday's coming up too. Okay. Matt the mechanic, second that. Tyson, let's do this weekend. Everyone's saying this weekend. Anaconda hugs. This weekend? Really? Jeez. Unbox these bikes so she can join the group ride and become bait for other females to join the ride. That's one of the big, that dude, you hit the nail on the head. That's one of the biggest reasons I wanted to get a bike for D is because we need more females on e-bikes to have fun. Like I know there's a lot of girls like D out there that are a little bit like scared about the throttle and the e-bikes going so fast, but it's not really that bad. The fact that you can control it the way you want to control it, you won't lose control. <laughs> Let's hope not. Shaver Films. Yes, you guys need to unbox D's bike already. I agree. Yeah, it's literally We're just waiting for like a, right warm, a warm day. It's Tomorrow's so cool. going to be actually a very nice day. So that's why I'm going to take this out on the sand dunes and we're going to freaking destroy. Maybe we'll so do. So that's going to be your first ride on the Air Ride First ride and review. Grizzly. And then, shoot, maybe I'll do first ride and review and we can unbox the zoos when, when I get back. Who knows? Organized chaos. Congratulations. That's huge no matter what platform. For the million. For the million. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I was like confused. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was just nodding my head like, yes. Organized okay. chaos. How many miles you get on the Suron? Or you got on the Suron? So that's uh, Math and Mechanic and Bomber Marv. That's the one test we're going we're gonna to get together. And it all depends on the speed. We're going to close the garage door. Are there people out there? No, it's cold. Oh, you're cold? And humid. <laughs> that felt good. Well, so what was I saying? Oh, so a uh, range test on a Suron. So it all really depends on how fast you're going, what power you're going to be running. But we're thinking about maybe doing 
all of us running like a thousand at a thousand or two thousand watts because uh, we all pretty much have a 60 amp hour battery uh, so I'm at this point I'm guessing we could probably hit a hundred and damn 115 miles let's say 115 miles mark my words write it down <laughs> and remind me after I do that range test you guys should have like a challenge, like take a picture of your speedometers like before you ride and after and see who the longest but one day. The thing is with Surons though, like we'll be riding, we'll be like, oh snap, an off trail over here. Let's go see what this is. Crank it up to 10,000 or 20,000, whatever. <laughs> and we'll be ripping through the trails. By the time we're done ripping through the trail, the battery's dead. <laughs> Anaconda Hugs, use textured paint. Now you don't have to smooth out anything. Oh, that's a good idea. War. That's Let's actually not see a bad that idea. other Zeus. You'll see it soon. Billy, the box. <laughs> Billy in the building. That's actually the same seat set up I have on my X-Class. Oh, okay. So you got this one from OC Cafe Racer? Is that what he's saying? Maybe. Where did you get your seat from? That's an awesome. Dude, I love and this And if you're setup. in Philly, you can come down for the group ride. Yup. Yup. Dude, I would love I would love to have like a huge, huge group ride here in Lewis Beach. Oh, uh, Organized Chaos just said group ride in Philly on Wednesday night. Shreddy, you should come up. On Wednesday night. I, I need to get... I would need a ride up there I'd, or or I could get a ride up there without a bike and maybe somebody up there would l loan me a bike. Matt, you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, let's go up there. We need to get two little, actually no, Matt can throw his bike on the back of his. Beetle Gator. Bomber Marv will go too. I don't know where he's at. Beetle Gator. Will you do any reviews on the upgraded Huck bikes like the Rebel? On the upgraded Huck bikes like the Rebel? Um, if they ended up, if they end up sending me one, I'll do that. But uh, if I end up traveling to uh, North Carolina, I actually want to try the Overland and the new updated Rebel to see what the difference is. But to tell you the truth, I don't think there are any like super huge differences. Just maybe some electrical things. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're still using the same uh, motor and controller, the sine wave, seven-ton sine wave. Death Rock, as long as you have an impact drive, drill driver, wrench and socket, soldering kicks, soldering kits, you're all set. That's one thing I need. I need a solder kit and I need to learn how to solder. <laughs> Denny Bone, I noticed yesterday that you had a wind fairing on the front of your bandit and where did you get it from? Oh yeah, you, you actually, you commented that somewhere earlier or maybe you commented that on, on the video. Um, that's actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure they get them from Amazon. Spark Cycle Works get those, gets those from Amazon. Let me get this out of the way so you can see it. To it? Um, I can, I can probably find one on Amazon and throw a link on there if, 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 um, if you want to do that. And like always, if you guys buy anything from my Amazon links, not only what link, not only the link that you clicked on, like I get credit. It helps out the channel 100%. I always appreciate it. And Dio is appreciated too, right? Dio, you appreciate it. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where do we go? All right, here we are. Okay. As long, oops. Okay. No. Okay. Ron Ronaldo de Soyo. How about in the Philippines, ma'am, sir? Say that again. How about in the Philippines? In the Philippines? I would love to go to the Philippines. I've never been. I'm A from Puerto Rico, though, so. A7X, I most easy. Brutal scream. Hashtag self-checkout. <laughs> Avenged sevenfold, huh? Denny Bone. Congratulations on the new house, too. That's awesome. Things will only get better from here for you, you and the wife. We're, we're just nervous because it's an expensive house, and um, I, we just, I just got to bust my butt it's more and make some sales. Yeah, because... Ooh, it's, the rent it's went up and we had to find somewhere. Yeah, else. like literally our rent, we, um, we've been renting what for almost three years. Um, and it went up normally in, in the summertime because we live in a beach area. It was uh, normally 3000 But this year in the summer, it went up to 6000 a month. So we're just like, oh, man, that's pretty much wasting money. So we ended up looking for a house. And that's why I've been kind of laying low for a little bit. And I haven't done a video in a while. Even though actually it doesn't look like that to you guys because I, I was still putting out videos from California. Um, so we've been crazy looking, looking for a house and, and finally found one. Luckily we didn't have to do any kind of like bidding wars like we always hear of. Uh, we got it quickly and 
And no, no problems yet, right, Dee? Any, any, any issues? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no issues yet. So. Um, let's we, we just need furniture. We don't have any furniture. Yes, we don't have any furniture. Yeah. And a lot of you guys know the reason. Um, I've said it in videos before. So the reason we moved down here is because we had to get our house, you know, remediated and we lost everything. Um, so we don't have any furniture. So we don't have any furniture. So we're starting from scratch. All right, let's see. Um, organized chaos. I got like 55 miles on my 60 volt, 53 amp hour with XX controller. Damn, that's awesome. Philly in the building. I love that seat range. I got from OC Cafe Racer. It's a very comfortable seat for me. It is, it, and, it, and it gets even more comfortable as, as it breaks in. At first, it definitely feels like a little bit like, like stiff-ish, but after it breaks in, man, that thing is awesome. Uh, the, the one on my Super right now is so broken in. Oh, I love that seat so much. <laughs> All right, we're almost here. Uh, organized chaos. I got you, bro. Beetle Gator. Have you ever thought about taking classes on wiring your bikes? I would love to, but I have a bomber mar of the e-bike wizard here that could the, that could show me the ways. <laughs> and then the e-bike wizard ways. Um, job you demand. Shreddy Boricua. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wepa! I was gonna say orale. Wait a minute. That's Matt, my, my uh, Mexican uh, food kicking in. <laughs> Matt, the mechanic, we need a better seat than the Luna for Suron. I'm actually, I like the Luna seat, man. It, it feels good to me. The only thing I would change is the way it kind of like scoops. I wish the Suron seat was a little more flat because the way, the way it's kind of like that, it kind of scoots your whole like body forward. If it feels like more like that and you could like kind of scoot forward and back and be a little more comfortable, but for me, still, I think it's a comfortable seat. It's not bad at all. Who wants to see Matt the mechanic here on his next live? <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to go to his street, shed. Yeah. The, me the mechanic shed. Oh, so should we end this? Are we done? Do we have any more questions? This is going to be the end of the mod Mondays. Maybe we want to answer one or two more questions. Or how many people are in here? Let's, let's get these likes up. Oh, 51 likes. 51 likes. How many people? 33 now. Oh, perfect, so perfect, out, perfect. Out. All right, guys, um, let, let's bring, uh, da, 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 da. We'll, we'll hit the notification bell on this. Guys, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Make sure you drop a like if you haven't dropped a like. Um, oh, Jason Oliver, Shreddy, you were so humble and kind. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully we can get the ride together sometime, man. Matt, I always want to ride with everybody. We can do it next Monday in my shed. Awesome. Um, so guys, if you want to support the channel, um, always check out the links down below. I have discount links for most of these e-bikes. I got accessory discounts. Um, I have uh, Amazon links. So click all those links. It helps us pay for this house and pay for the channel to get more things and uh, have a lot more fun. Um, do you want to say bye to every, anybody? <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> oh, that's right. They want us to... Maybe the next video we'll both get on the seat. Who knows? <laughs> Should we both try to get on it? We'll do it next time. I forgot they all asked. Do you want to try really quick? Let's see. I can't even reach it. You'd have to put the wooden box down. Here, you'll do this. And then you stand like this. And like this. Oh my God. See? That looks so hard. No. Ah, try it. Is it you're good? It's not going to show your face. Come on. <laughs> I can't get up that high. Just step on that. Just hold on my shoulders. You guys can. You guys that are still here are gonna see the bloopers. Yeah, watch it kick. Are you holding bike. this bike straight? Yeah, up? yeah, we're good. It's not gonna fall over. As long as this thing doesn't slide, we're good. Here. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel? Comfy? Yes. Does it feel feel good on your biscuits? Yep. Yeah. There we go. We both fit it's on there. It's actually really roomy. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's. Now, let's how do I get off? <laughs> um. Swing your one leg around and keep that leg on, and then you're good. All right, hold it up. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Yeah, not bad, right? <laughs> so, yeah, comfortably, it fits two people. And then, like I said earlier, if you want to take it off, add a rack, you're good to go. Put it back Matt on. Matt said that's hot. That's hot. 
Um, so yeah, guys, if you again want to support the channel, check out all those links down below. And if you guys enjoy that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next mod. Thank you, guys. Adios, mi amigo.